So welcome to our four, fourth session of the day. It's our final session for day one. Looking forward to everyone to come back for day two. Uh, this is uh, with Jonathan Rouse from Olympus. Really looking forward to this session. Um, don't forget, I've got to say a big thank you to all of our speakers. We've got people, we've already heard from Adrian, Haley, uh, Darren, and now we've got Jonathan. Like Tomorrow we've got Neil, Michael, Mary, and Lauren. So we're really looking forward to that amazing review of people. I have done it now. I have put the price on there. If people want to upgrade to the CPD tickets and they've already got their free ticket, scan the QR code. Uh, it's £29 plus VAT. Uh, if you want that CPD certificate, you're more willing to do it. And there will be options to do that with the recordings in a few in a few weeks' time. Of course, big thank you to Dyslexia Box for sponsoring the whole of this all of the workplace. And of course, to our lead sponsor, Claro. And all of our sponsors are uh, uh, all of our sponsors, uh, Scanning Pens, uh, Nessie, uh, Fairly House, uh, St. David's College, Unique Ability Consulting, and of course, SCN Legal. Our supporters, the BDA, uh, Study with Dyslexia, SCN Books, Helen Arkell, Recite Me, English Type, London Grid for Learning, Special Direct, Touch Type Reading, Scout, Touch Type Reading Spell, Patos, and the SCND Group. Uh, so don't forget, if you want to ask any questions, you know where the question box is. Any comments, you can put them in there. And don't forget, do get involved. If you want to follow us on LinkedIn, there's the LinkedIn, there's the LinkedIn uh, QR code for the uh, for our uh, Dyslexia Workplace group. If you want to join that, you can have a conversation with each other, uh, talk to each other, and, and and do lots of things there. And, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's the slide I want to be on. Uh, so as you know, the webinar is recorded. You're all in this and only mode. If you have any questions, put them in the question box. And of course, we will do a Q&A session with Jonathan in a second uh, after he's done his talk. Jonathan, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello, That's everyone. Fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to make you the presenter now. So if you want to click on share my slides or show my slides. That's it. And if you want to start your presentation for us, right, I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to hand over to Jonathan. I'll come back uh, when I come and answer the questions. Over to you, Jonathan. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I hope you're all well. Um, also, I'm going to be talking about um, the Olympus uh, digital uh, and some of our other products as well, um, covering digital dictation and transcription. Um, so, my, a little bit about me, my background, I work within the assistive technology market for 17 years um, and I've uh, got experience in that market with uh, assistive technology uh, and speech recognition. Um, used to deal with disabled student allowance, access to work uh, and also complete some workplace assessments as well. Um, and then I moved over to Olympus in January last year uh, as a key account manager within the professional audio team. Um, and actually, it's quite interesting that there's sort of there is a bit of a, um, a carryover from my previous experience um, as well. Um, so, so I'm going to cover some of the, uh, the, the common products um, from the Olympus range that are used within the disability market and the assistive technology market. And there may be some that people might not be as familiar with, um, but they are coming, becoming more and more um, prevalent in uh, access to work, especially. Um, so obviously, voice recorders are used by a wide range uh, of people, um, from simple note takers through various levels of education, uh, for recording meetings, um, music recording, podcasts, uh, and then the area that I'm going to be focused on, obviously a bit more uh, in depth, is in the assistive world, um, and then the professional dictation um, devices and products as well. Um, so again. I suppose anyone who has sort of used a digital recorder with an assistive um, angle will be familiar with the old DM650 um, uh, devices that were, that were common in access to work and disabled student allowance. Um, there was then the DM5 that basically was designed more for uh, visually impaired users um, with a lot more speech uh, guidance uh, on the devices. Um, and then for the past few years, the DM770 has been the main. Uh, assistive technology uh, product, um, so both in DSA and uh, access to work. Um, basically, it's got tactile buttons, it's, it's hardware, it's got the metal casing, so it's very robust um, and high quality uh, recording um, as well. Um, and obviously, most importantly, it links in with other assistive technology products that are recommended. Um, obviously, it works with Dragon Naturally Speaking, you can use it 
to um, create a recording to then run through speech recognition. It also works with um, products such as um, audio note taker um, as well for recording lectures and meetings. Um, so some of the key features of the DM770 um, basically is the, the direct USB connection. Um, as I was saying before, it's got tactile buttons which are labeled, very simple to use. Um, again, anyone who's using something like audio note taker, then index marks are very important for breaking the recording. Um, again, using lectures is where slides change and index mark is normally added to the recording um, to basically give a break in the audio. Um, the recording time um, and long life batteries as well. Uh, and I say it's very, very lightweight and discreet. Um, and it does, again, it's carried over some of the accessibility features with the voice guidance. So when you run through the menus uh, and in the folders, it obviously has a voice output um, to, to help you navigate around if you um, have a literacy um, difficulties or visually impaired. Um, and again, these are bundled with the Sonority software for file management, the audio notebook software, which is our um, sort of software that's used for annotating your recordings, adding slides and adding text notes, um, and also a wrist strap case. Um, so again, there's just some, some key features um, of the device as well. And as I was saying, the, the, the microphone can be adapted on the DM770 for different environments. So you can have it for personal dictation, for conference mode, for um, meetings, one-to-one uh, -one conversations. So it just basically focuses the, the directional microphone for picking up more of the, the speech and less of the background noise. Um, probably something that um, a lot of people aren't aware of is that the um, DM products and all of our products can actually have different microphones attached to them as well. So in the disabled student uh, environment and access to work, we often see the DM770 being supplied with an ME34 directional microphone, which again cuts out a lot of ambient noise and will focus if you're sat at the back of a conference, we're focusing on the, on the speaker. But we also have other microphones for, for conferences um, and also boundary microphones. So again, if you're in a, a boardroom or a meeting room, you can actually pick up um, audio with a, some external microphones and they can be daisy chained as well to cover the length um, and width of the, of the table. Um, so again, as we're going along, if anyone wants to type any questions in, we'll come to those, come to those uh, towards the end. Um, but one of the areas that obviously I really wanted to focus on is our professional range. Um, and more than ever, you know, documentation is a critical part of, of business, uh, recording interviews, meetings, making notes um, and dictating for document creation uh, by transcription is standard practice. Um, the importance of it being e the device would be easy to use, um, making sure that the audio is high quality and clear, um, that, that then it can be accurately transcribed. Um, and there's sort of three different types of transcription that we um, sort of work with um, in the Pro Audio team. So you've got it by a, a human, by a typist um, within your organisation or being outsourced. Um, um, speech recognition software, um, or there is you know, a multitude of different services out there for transcription, transcription where you send a recording outside of your organisation. There are typing services who then send you back your, your documentation uh, complete from your recordings. Um, and today's professional recorders um, from Olympus are designed to meet you know, the, the, the various rigorous uh, requirements you have of, of either dictating in an office on the move. Um, and also we have some products that, that run on a mobile phone as well. So when assessors um, or people look at the pro range compared to our assistive or consumer range, they often ask, you know, why, why go for professional dictation? Um, and we always sort of, you know, come back with an accurate transcription always starts with the highest possible audio recording. Um, and again, whether your transcriptions are being created by speech recognition or a person using a transcription kit, 
uh, or even a combination of both. The clearer the audio, the more easy it is for the, either the software or the person listening to your audio to, to follow it, to understand it, um, and to be able to, to type up um, quickly and efficiently. Um, so while you know the pro-grade audio devices can cost more than the consumer devices, um, we often find that the added investment sort of improves the, the transcription accuracy um, and in the long term um, saves time uh, and money. Um, so some of the, the key features, um, say for the for the pro devices, is the the, the unparalleled recording quality. Uh, when I was saying whether you're in the office or on the move, recording can be a challenge due to background noise, um, whether that's in um, an open plan office um, or from traffic, recording on a train um, or wind noise. Um, you know, today's devices can actually defeat those challenges with advanced features. Um, such as dual microphones, which suppress unwanted background noise, um, the uh, triple layer pop filter, which blocks out sort of breath as you're dictating, or wind noise and vibrations as well. Um, and then our pro products actually have the ability to be able to um, stop a recording and then restart. Um, even the DM770, once you actually press the stop button and then record again, it will create a new audio file. Whereas the professional devices, you can sort of rewind, you can um, edit, insert recordings, or you can just pause, gather your thoughts, and then start recording again, all in the same file. Um, so very, very similar to what people were using um, previously, like tapes, where obviously you, as soon as you start and stop, you can keep recording. So um, that's one of the features of the of the pro products um, as well. Um, and they also have a a slide switch rather than press buttons. So some of the slides later on, I'll show you the, uh, the, the slide switches, but it's a very intuitive um, control um, interface um, for single-handed operation, just a flick of the thumb. So you can record, stop, rewind, uh, and move to where you need to in your recording. Um, another important factor as well is the file formats. So all of our products, you can record in MP3 and PCM formats. Um, but with the Pro range, you have the ability to record in DSS and DSS Pro, uh, which basically um, allows for extremely small file sizes, which obviously are very good for, for lengthy recordings, especially when you're sending them via Wi-Fi or via email. Um, it just helps you keep your, your, your file sizes down. Um, the housing of the device as well is, is obviously re very um, robust. Um, the shockproof body of our DS ranges um, have been drop tested up to 1.5 meters. Um, and more importantly, especially with the, the current situation that we're seeing uh, across the world is, is with hygiene, um, the DS devices uh, can be wiped out with alcohol wipes and our USB mics, which I'll come to later on, actually have an antimicrobial coating um, as well. Um, and then another feature of the pro products um, especially the, well, the, the DS9000 9500 is that they have um, encryption and security on the devices. So you have 256-bit file encryption, um, a four-digit PIN. Um, so again, even if you lose your device, it's very, very difficult for someone to get in and listen to your, to your recordings. Um, and again, in the access to work market, we've seen that the DS range being recommended more and more for people who require that um, encryption and security on their devices. Um, so in our sort of pro range, we have three, three models. Um, starting on the left hand side, the DS2600 is our entry level uh, pro recorder. So, so it has the slide switch, has all the digital microphones and everything and the pop filter, uh, but that one doesn't come with the encryption. We then have the DS9000, which is probably our most popular recorder from the from the pro range um, and then the ds9500 which adds the ability to send your audio files via wi-fi uh, via a hotspot or connected to a wi-fi network in your workplace um, so again with the going, going to the, the 2600 um i'm saying this is the 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 entry level to the professional range um by saying it's your um to a first entry point uh, and again anyone who's wanted to move to a slide switch recording in DSS format but doesn't need the encryption this is almost the first level up from the DM 
770. Um, and then the DS 9000 and 9500 um, basically is your, your full, uh, fully encrypted um, device. Um, you can also have them supplied as well with docking station. Um, you can connect via a USB cable if you wish. And again, later on in the presentation, I show some of the, the various bundles and, and kits that um, the products are available in. Um, and again, with and without our uh, workflow uh, and management software as well. Um, so again, just some, some key features there. And I'd say the DS9500 is the model that has that ability to send your recordings via, via Wi-Fi. Um, so again, looking at the, the sort of some of the kits, uh, and again, this is more um, evident that we're seeing that the, these products are being recommended in the access to work um, environment more and more. Um, obviously, if somebody is using, uh, whether it be third party software, or they don't need a credit, you can basically get the devices in system editions, which is basically the device, you know, an AC adapter um, and, and, or a case and connecting via USB. Um, we then have a, in the DS9000 range, a standard edition, which basically adds the ODMS software, which is our um, file management and workflow software. Um, and then the premium kits uh, adding as well a, a docking station or a cradle. So that you just basically pop the device on your software. Your recordings are automatically downloaded if you wish by your software, and either then delivered into your um, your file management, sent through to your typist um, or emailed to to an outsourced service. Um, and also, you can also do speech recognition um, via our ODMS software as well, using something like Dragon Naturally Speaking. Um, so you can actually have background speech recognition, uh, which again I'll, I'll come to. Uh, later on. Um, moving on from our portable devices, we also have um, USB microphones. So the Olympus Red Mic um, is basically a, and I'm, I'm using this now for my, my sound inputs, uh, basically it's a USB microphone which you obviously can use to record in our software um, or it is used very commonly with it with speech recognition software as well. Um, you can configure some of the buttons on the device um, for shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts as well. Um, it has a microphone stand for hands-free dictation, um, and like I say, has native support for most common speech recognition engines um, available. And again, as I mentioned earlier, it has the polygene technology within the housing um, that's antimicrobial. So um, again, used very, very widely in healthcare. Uh, as well as other environments. So with the Red Mic, we have two models. Um, the uh, RM4010P is our push button model, and then the 4110S is the slide switch. So again, yeah, down to personal preference, anyone who normally has been using um, a DS device who moves to um, a USB mic is very, very familiar with the slide switch technology. Um, but also we do also have the, the push push button model as well. Um, both devices come with a trackball. So again, you can control your mouse cursor um, by the, the trackball that's on the device. Uh, it has an inbuilt speaker. So again, if you're in an environment such as a such as healthcare where you're needing to make recordings, but there's not necessarily a sound card, you can actually um, use the speaker on the on the red mic as well um, to play play audio and sounds back. Um, and again, any of the buttons that are on there, you can configure those for a, a little config tool that we've created um, to, to send keystroke functions as well. So you can use it um, with a little bit of, a, of, of accessibility um, features as well on there. Um, our software, and this is where it can get quite confusing. So I'll try and sort of be simple, but again, at the end, if anyone's got any more uh, in-depth questions around our software, then I'm more than happy to, uh, to, to deal with those. But basically, with our DS2600 model, we have the DSS player software. So um, you have a dictation module and a transcription module, um, but in sort of the, the most basic form, it's, it's the file management software. So you take your 2600, you've made your recordings, you can um, connect up via USB, your recordings then will automatically synchronize uh, with the software. 
and again can then go through the the, the workflow uh, features to be sent over to your to your typing pool um, automatically. So again, if you're working remotely um, or you're sort of wanting your documentation to be um, to be typed up, then the software will will manage that flow of the recording going from your device to your colleagues um, or to an outsourced transcription uh, provider. Um, with the DS9000 and 9500 models, um, it's our OGMS software, um, which basically is um, sort of a, a slightly more advanced um, software, a lot more features for managing your workflow. Um, and this is where you can also have your Dragon um, speech recognition running in the background. So as you download your recordings from your device, again, if you've got it set up and configured, the software will basically run with dragging in the background, turning your recording into text, and you then got access to the text file. If you're working with templates uh, for letter creation or filling in forms, again, there, there are ways of um, setting those up so that um, maybe with an index mark that you put in your recording, it would move to a certain section of your uh, of your letter. Um, and again, just, just helps with the, the, the workflow. Um, obviously, if you're I've got a, a transcription team, then again the software will will manage that workflow through from your device through to being delivered to your to your typist. Um, and again, that's that works with the rec mics um, as well, the ODMS software. Um, the ODMS software is available as a standalone uh, and also as a work group mode. Um, so again, if you're sort of having uh, on a network multiple users, you can actually use our uh, configuration program um, for the IT, you can actually set the software up uh, and control the software through a, a um, browser. So again, it doesn't mean that you've got to go to every single machine within your organization to set up um, the individual settings on the devices, whether they be the, the the recording, the author devices, or the transcription, you can manage all of those uh, remotely, uh, which makes IT admins uh, sort of jobs a lot, a lot easier. Um, you can even see when people last used the device, when they last synchronized it. Um, and again, it allows for the delivery of the recordings either through the software, uh, through FTP, or through email as well. And again, when you get the slides later on, this is just sort of the, uh, the, the highlights uh, as well. Um, and we often get asked, especially um, in sort of people in, in education or have been through access to work who then are uh, using a Mac. The software is available um, for a Mac. It's the DSS player that works on, on a Mac. Um, so again, you know, very, very similar your file management. The only sort of um, feature that isn't um, available. If you're using a DS9500, you cannot send files by Wi-Fi uh, into the DSS player. Um, that's basically just a, a feature that, that's not, not available. Um, moving on to transcription hits. Um, and again, there's sort of different um, interpretation, interpretations, understandings of, of transcription. Um, but basically we have um, it for, for typists. So um, with the DS2600, we have the AS2400 model. So the foot pedal there has, has three buttons, uh, three pedals, which you can configure. Um, you get your under the chin headphones, uh, and it's an adapter to, to connect the foot pedal to your machine. Um, and then that is supplied with the DSS player um, standard transcription module for PC a DSS player for Mac. For the DS9000 and 9500, we have the AS9000 kit. So the foot pedal has four, four buttons. Um, so again, you can sort of configure those as you need to with our, with our config tool. Um, again, you get the headset, um, but you get the ODMS transcription mod module um, software, obviously, if you're a Mac user in the pack, as well as the, the DSS player for Mac. Um, we also have available a hand controller. So simulates what you can do with a foot pedal. 
Um, and again, from an ergonomic point of view, uh, probably um, more applicable um, with the Dapon controller. Um, this is a product that has not sort of not been um, pushed much uh, with our recent um, version of the software. Uh, and unfortunately, at the moment, it doesn't work with our latest ODMS software. Um, but like I say, you you can use um, these devices um, with with other other software as well. Um, and actually, while there's been a lot of home working going on, we've had numerous inquiries for the hand controllers and with foot pedals being used to control other applications uh, such as Teams, PowerPoint, and Excel. Um, and again, we do have the ability to to do that. So um, again, with with people using Teams more and more, you can you can use the hand controller or the foot pedal to actually control video playback or basically anything that can be done by a keystroke. Um, our foot pedals and hand controllers can uh, can simulate that as well. Um, and then the last piece of um, or product I wanted to just cover was our mobile phone. Um, so basically, it's available for iPhone and Android. Um, and really, this is a, a, a product that's used um, either for people who um, don't necessarily want to invest in a, in a handheld device or as a backup. Um, basically, it's a little a, a app that sits on your phone. You can make your recordings. You deliver them then via um, uh, via email um, into your uh, software. Um, and again, it does have the ability to have the, the 256 bit encryption. So again, it is very very secure. Um, but again, you're then reliant on the quality of the audio uh, on your mobile phone, um, which obviously isn't as, as good a quality as you get with a, a dedicated recording device. But it is a product that is is very widely used, um, and has been become very very popular during the uh, the lockdown period as well, where people have maybe got devices in the office but they still need to make recordings at home. So again, that that, that is a, a an option, um, and that's on an annual subscription, the uh, the mobile phone app. Um, so again, um, a quick sort of run through of how ODDS works. You basically got the app on your mobile phone. Your recording is basically sent through our, our server um, with, with high levels of data protection. Um, it's fully configured again through a, through a web portal um, to, to, to start how you want to deliver, who you want the recordings to go to, what email address to deliver them to. Um, and again, the recordings can be delivered straight into our, our MDMS transcription module uh, software as well, um, say via email or, or FTP. Um, the way that this works as well as we get asked this for, for GDPR and for data protection, but as soon as your, your recording comes to our server, as soon as it's delivered to your email or via your FTP, it's removed from our server, so we don't sort of store it, so there's no, no real data um, that is kept on our servers. Um, it's basically, it's, it's more of a delivery service. Um, and I say there's a screenshot there, it's, I say it's a very, very basic app. You've literally got your say record button, start new files, insert, um, and then you've basically got a, a record then of the, the file management. So your pending um, recordings, your outbox, and you can also keep track of your sent items as well. Um, and if for any reason uh, they're accidentally deleted by your typist or you delete them from your email, you can resend them again from the uh, from the device. So that sort of covers everything that uh, that I want to go through. Um, so obviously, if there's any any questions, then uh, I'm more than happy to, to answer those. So uh, that was amazing, Jonathan. That was a really good uh, good talk of an in depth of all the products and what's going on there. So that was good. Um, so just uh, uh, just about just here. Um, so. Uh, so let's just uh, go into the first question here. So, the first, so there's only there's only uh, not many questions in there. One says uh, one just says thank you. In uh, very interesting. Next one says here. So how much is the recorder? Uh, uh, how much recording time do you get? On, sorry, not how much is it. How much recording time do you get on the D, the DM seven seventy? And then how much does it cost? Um, well, we don't sell any of these direct, um, so I can't give sort of prices out. I'll resell through a network of partners. Um, the DM is normally supplied 
um, through either DSA suppliers um, or people who are involved in, in access to work. Mm -hmm. um, I can answer that one maybe. I'll, I'll put them in touch with someone. Yeah. As far as the recording time goes, um, let me just go back to my slide on the DM. There's, um, with the highest quality recording, there's 52 hours of recording time. Okay, there you go. So, plenty, plenty of yeah, point, pl right. plenty of recording time. Yeah. No, I think that's really. Um, you can actually. There is the ability as well to to add um, an external card as well uh, on yeah. there, but but sort of the. I mean, I've just started my DM770 up, and I've just changed it to sort of the. Um, and like the low, a lower quality, and I've got 129 hours. So um, on the highest setting, though, it's 52 hours of recording time. No, that's good. And I think that we'll one. Probably, go on, carry on. I'll just say we'd probably recommend as well that you obviously download your recordings. Um, you know, at the end of every day or every couple of days. Um, but like I say, you know, even if you don't have access to to your computer when you're making your recordings, you've got an awful lot of storage time on there. Oh, that's fine. I think that it's a very interesting thing there. I think that it's uh, it's good. I, I I always remember seeing this the 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 the, the, uh, the picture you've got there for the first time when the USB slid slid out and and um, I think it's a really clever idea. I, I like it now that you get the extension cable. Well, you did in the one that I had um, that uh, meant you could actually actually didn't have to plug it directly into the device. Um, so uh, I've got a question here. So. Uh, um, I'm a little bit old fashioned. I still use an iPhone SE. Would it be able to be uh, uh, to do recording dictation by app uh, on it as uh, uh, if so, uh, uh, how much is uh, again, I think the app is sold separately, but uh, um, could it be done? What's the lowest? It, can it work on, I on iOS as well? Yes, it's iOS and Android. Um, funnily enough, our work phones are the um, iPhone SE uh, and it works perfectly fine. There you go. So I've and got the iPhone as well. And is there a cost to the app, or is the app a free app? Um, you the the app it basically is a, is an annual subscription. Yeah. Um, and then I will you know if that if that person wants to come to that I will put them in touch with one of our one of our partners. Um, I think it retails. I think it's just over a hundred pounds per year. Um, for for, for that. Um. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's very that's very useful. It is. Um, did you want to show off any of the devices with your camera? I know you said you might turn that on. Uh, there isn't there isn't any questions in the question box. There's still a good, a good number of people in there. Uh, you did say you might want to do that, which you're quite willing to do. Why people think of any questions for you? Um, yeah, I can do. Um... There. You go. There you go. That's it. There we go. We can see you now. So, um, brilliant. I can't see myself. There we go. There we go. That's fine. Right. So, I mean, like I say, with the, with the device, the, the, the red mic, um, it, like I say, is, you know, it fits in the hands sort of quite nicely. Um, and again, you've got all your, say, your buttons. So, again, on the slide, it was difficult maybe to zoom in, you know, enough. But all of these buttons, the, the device is available. Um, it comes in with four modes. So, it has an Olympus mode for using our software. Uh, it has a new uh, dragon mode. Um, it has speech recognition mode, and then there is a mode where you can configure your own sort of setup of the buttons, everything as well. Um, what we've found is, you know, with people who have used dragon naturally speaking, um, who are used to wearing a headset, especially during this lockdown period where they're now, you know, maybe working from home, there's less sort of noise. Um, people are starting to use these devices well for for speech rate because you can pop it on the stand, you can uh, that hands free. You've not having to have your, your headset on, um, and again, your your dictation is um, just as high quality as with a with a good USB microphone. Uh, so USB headset, um, and again, you know, it's it's the ability to then have your your keystrokes if you wanted to open up your email. You can again con configure that on the device. Um, as well, um, in a more noisy environment, um, with the the rec mic, especially, you have the ability to to focus the um, the microphone in. So again, at the moment, I'm in a room on my own, 
no background noise at all. Mine's just on a, a you know, a, a quiet environment. But if you're in a noisy environment, you have the ability to say have noise cancelling. And um, the devices have two microphones, one at the front for listening to you, one on the back that actually picks up all the, the ambient noise uh, and will cancel that out as well. Um, but again, you know, you can possibly bring it closer to you to dictate um, or have it on the stand. So again, it's it's fully configurable for the environment that you're in. Um, one of our videos that's online, it was tested with um, some roadworks going off um, outside the window, pneumatic drills and everything, and the recognition was still um, as you would expect because of the, the noise cancelling feature um, as well. Um, as far as the DS devices, again, just to give a bit of indication of, of size, um, you know, they're, they're, that's the, the, the size. Again, it's very difficult on the on the slides yeah. to see see in detail, but again, they are. Um, say slide switch on the side, fit, fit in your hand very nicely. Um, I'm left-handed, so I always use my middle finger to do the, the sliding, but again, if you're right-handed, then it's your thumb to control everything. Um, and basically the slide switch um, has four positions, so you've basically got your um, record, stop, play, and then rewind um, as well. Um, and no. again, very, you know, look, look. The, they've, they've gone with a polycarbonate casing. The previous models have a metal had a metal casing, um, but these are very, very lightweight, um, very robust as well. Yeah, I think I think they're an amazing device. I do. I think that since since I've been using them over the past number of years, I've really seen the quality change. It was quite ironic. If you want to just just bring your your slides your slide back up, um, yeah. uh, and uh, go to the slide nine with them um, with them on. Uh, that 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 uh, that kind of shape of, of a device. I remember seeing many years ago the prototype of that when I worked when I worked for the charity that I used to work for, uh, or the or at least an idea of it. And I was very happy to kind of give my ten pence worth to Olympus then, uh, uh, which was quite interesting. It was it was it's quite nice to see that they that uh, the company take um, take advice from everywhere. Uh, um, and uh, and do things. So no, I was very very happy with that. Um, I, I, I personally, yeah. personally, I'm currently testing out. I'm currently testing out. What is it? The 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 RM four one zero zero S, which is very similar to the one that Jonathan that Jonathan has shown you. It doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the scroll bar, and I use it on my desktop for for dictation. Um, and and I found it very useful. I quite quite enjoyed it. It kind of works on the stand, um, and um, hold it in my hand very nicely. So I, I think they are. They're very interesting devices. It is there, so um, that's fine. Um, has anyone else got any more questions for, for Jonathan? If they haven't, if you're writing a question, uh, uh, put your hand up uh, so I know you're writing it. Uh, so I can't see at the moment anyone with any more hands up. Uh, can't see any more questions in the question box. So um, if that's all right with everyone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say thank you very much, Jonathan. Uh, um, did you have you got your contact details on the last slide was it or if you want to contact me if you contact me hello yeah if you contact hello at dyslexia show and uh, drop me an email i'm very willing to uh, to send any, any conversation to to jonathan if you want me to uh, and uh, uh, and we can go from there so i'm going to thank jonathan for ending today it's an amazing session as always uh, when i've heard you speak before i really enjoyed it thank you very much hopefully everyone else has had a good day uh, i look forward to seeing everyone back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m for the the start of our next session so thank you and jonathan i look forward to uh, speaking very much to take Take care, everyone. I'm going to end the session now, and then I'm going to do all the editing of the recording. So thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.